my supernatural tour of churches with Jesus. You and your pastor must hear this in an unforgettable revelation that can never be forgotten. Jesus Christ showed up in my room early one Sunday morning. He had on a particular dress and was having the same type of dress in his hand which he handed over to me to put on. The moment I put it on, we both took off on a search for a church to worship in. When we arrive at any given church, what goes on there secretly or openly will be revealed. In some of them, we could only stop at the doors and the Lord will say, can you see what they are doing to my labor? Immorality, worldliness, perversions, spiritism, and all sorts of things were happening in these churches. Satan was in some churches seating and receiving the glory due to God. In some of the churches, people were naked, dancing disco, while in others, they were so busy sharing money. The Lord said in a very sad voice, one the people that want to make heaven, that most of these churches they go to are polluted. In a particular church we visited, the Bible the pastor was using to preach to the people was changing colors like a chameleon. I asked the Lord what this meant, and he said, the enemy changes my word to suit the people in deceit for their destruction. In many of these churches, boldly written on their altars and signboards, we are Mark of the Beast 666 Center. The Lord told me to warn all those who want to make heaven to beware of where the word of God is preached, diluted, or adulterated, that they are Mark of the Beast centers, preparing people for capture instead of rapture. The Lord then said, any church where the people are not being prepared in the urgency of my soon coming in true repentance, holiness, and righteousness are gates of hell, no matter how big and popular it is, or even if miracles are happening there. He said, what people see as miracles in such places are actually obstacles to their making heaven. He went on to say that any minister that is not ministering in the urgency of his soon coming is not of him, no matter their names or popularity. He said they are working for the Antichrist, not me. Are you in such churches and under such ministers? The deceived and the deceivers have the same destiny in the lake of fire. In that supernatural revelation, I was in this search with Jesus Christ till I found myself back in the physical dimension. What then is the core message of this revelation? Most churches today are antichrist embassies, working for the antichrist knowingly or knowingly. The day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? Second Thessalonians chapter 2, 3 to 5. Many are already worshiping Satan as God who is already in churches, both the popular and the unpopular, and is behind the works of many ministers, knowingly or unknowingly. Verse 9 to 12 of the same passage goes on to say, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they shall believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure 
in unrighteousness. Please hear this and flee with the others. It will soon be too late. The Lord is exposing the false ministers and ministries who pretend to be of Him, but are not. Watch and pray. Go back to the Word of God and discover the truth for yourself. This urgent end time warning is coming from Witness Ken Paul Obieke, who has had several revelations of hell and heaven and mandated to warn those who have ears to hear. Prosperity, blessings, miracles, and all that they are using to distract you are all your inheritance. Focus on Jesus Christ, being like Him, and the rest shall be added unto you. Let nobody put you in religious bondage. Enjoy the liberty of Christ, but not in sin. If Jesus is coming soon, as He said, with the signs all over the places, and your minister is neither saying anything about it, as is expected of Him by God, or preaching a sinless gospel to get you ready, he's an antichrist. The end result might be too costly for you. As a midnight crier and lover of your soul, I ask you to take heed to this awakening call. You are too precious to spend eternity in the lake of fire. This message is from a living witness of our only living savior, the Lord Jesus Christ at a crucial and perilous time as this. Stay blessed and rapture us. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, why don't you pray with me? Bow your heads and pray with all your heart. Lord Jesus, I come to you today a sinner. I believe you died for me and you rose again. I ask that you come into my heart and give me a new heart of righteousness. Forgive me all my sins. I renounce Satan and every works of darkness in my life, and I receive the gift of eternal life today. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen.